Okay, so I'm I'm Kim Serradell. I'm from I'm uh, from the Computational Earth Science Group in the Earth Science Department from BSc, and today I will present you the Easy Ways. Um, this complex name stands for the Center of Excellence in Simulation of Weather and Climate uh, in Europe. Um, the center uh, is led by DKRZ, the German. Sorry. The German uh, Climate Computing Center, and it's important to say that it's the second phase. It is ways two. Um, the first, uh, the first uh, part of this ways finished on August last year, and now we have four uh, years more of easy ways, easy ways two. So to put a little bit in in context. Um, the climate change and extreme events. I think a few weeks ago, before all this, all this uh, disastrous COVID, it was really on on the on the news, on the media, all this climate change and and all the threats. So I made a a, a search and a quick search. And for example, if you remember, a few uh, I think two months ago, uh, two months ago, we had the the Gloria here in the peninsula that was really had a great impact. In, in in Spain with uh, with death with uh, destruction so um, so it's something that we need to be able to forecast. On the other hand, if we go more on climate uh, change, for example, here it uh, it has been a really warmest uh, winter in Russia, and it has been quite in, impressive to see uh, Moscow without any uh, without snow and even having fires in Siberia and other places that usually should be covered by, by snow. So in this sense, we, have, um, we, we need to, to be able to provide tools at difference that uh, other sciences that can do a lab or can, can have other tools to, to predict and see what is happening in, in their field. In the, earth, in, the, in the earth sciences, we don't have a lab. So the, the unique tool that we have are these earth system models. And these earth system models have limitations and we need to put effort um, to 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 make it, to make uh, them better to 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 do what they they propose and one of the of the axes of this of these um, of these models how to improve it is the computational aspects and it's here the motivation of easy ways how we can support this uh, this research so in this sense the co the European Commission has put a lot of effort on 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 our community. So we can see that um, we have in, in the three usual, this, this, uh, this diagram, we have in the infrastructure, in this case, uh, Mare Nostrum, BSC, but also CSCS in Switzerland and other, other centers. Then we have uh, technologies in, in projects like ESCAPE, a FED, uh, a FED project, but we are also uh, represented where we work on the algorithm itself of the models. And then we have the, the applications. Uh, in the applications part, we have the easy ways. So I think it's really important to have this, this close collaboration in these three, three fields to be able to tackle, to tackle the, the problem. So as I was saying, there has, a, a, there has been a lot of, of effort from the, from the, the commission to, put, to, put, uh, to invest in, in this field. Uh, we have a lot of projects on the climate and uh, weather and climate science, um, where BSC is well represented in, in most of them. So we've been working on, on from the science itself. On the first row, you have the prediction. In Primavera uh, goes to, to, to higher, to increase the resolution and improve the results of the model. But then we have new concepts. Uh, it's really important to test and to try to validate new new developments and to see if we can port to to the operational simulation, and then we have the these other um, easy ways and SNS how we can port our models to the exascale and also build strong infrastructures. In the last um, row, you have you see it's extreme earth, extreme earth. Uh, I don't know if you remember all these uh, time where there were these um, flagships. Is called of doing flagships. Unfortunately, um, fl the Extreme Earth, which was a very huge project of really going uh, and do something really novel and put a lot of, of uh, efforts to, to be able to, to improve dramatically our simulation, has not been funded. So 
now it's it's the it's uh, we have our challenge to try to see how we can do what we were developing in this in this flagship we can do in other in other projects of uh, that that are on on the next calls so these are the the partners um in in the in the center of excellence you can see that it's quite we are quite a lot in the second phase uh, we we open it and and more we had more new people on board and we have people from the the weather and climate for example ecmwf which is the european center for a medium weather forecast then we have a um, national service met national services we have hpc centers bsc cscs i check uh, but also and an important we have industry we've been working with bull seagate and arm in order to to see how come this this all our developments and and all our needs are are reaching the industry and try to see uh, if we can can go in this idea of the of the co-design it's not always easy our our community it's a special community and a difference of of the other ones it's really the the business model is really it's not uh, as as easy to build like in another communities but we are we are working working on it so which is the the key objective of of easy ways um, the key objective of Easy Ways is, in fact, is we need to be able to enable the, the European weather and climate models to be able first to use at the, at the available performance and, 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 and the, 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 the power, the Prexa scale systems. So, so in order to, to adapt our models to these new architectures, these new technologies, because at the end we know that um, in, in, in a few years later, we need to be able to to use the exascale systems our models are not are not ready um, our models uh, the the ones that you've been working on it it's uh, it's a community that it's really sensible and and it's really sometimes it's hard to move to move on so for example we are using a lot of of legacy code fortran code uh, that it's really we need to do a, a great investment to 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 tackle and, and to, to use these, these, new, these new technologies, which are, are quite disruptive and different on, on what we've been doing, doing so far. All, all this, this evolution without uh, losing um, accuracy and continue doing the, the, the forecast. So uh, as I was saying, this is a, a, communi a community where, where all these models are providing uh, results to the to, to directly to the society at daily, for example, ECMWF, uh, providing IFS forecast and other, other, other national uh, meteorological services. So we, we need to be able that, uh, to check what we are introducing is not, is not uh, giving wrong results or making the, the models unstable because we, we need to, to fulfill the uh, operational requirements. So uh, a little bit, a uh, list of work packages. Um, the, we've been trying, we, we are trying to tackle more or less uh, a wide range of, of, of points of, uh, from the models itself in work package one, but then uh, we want to, to see which are the new technologies on the, on, on the market and on the community, what we can uh, take advantage and, and take it then to our, to our models. Um, we are opening services. I will talk about the calls that we are opening to to have people uh, to to offer services to other to other people that are not in the in the center of excellence. Working on IO, really important. The data we produce huge, uh, massive volumes of data. We need to be able to to process them, but also really important how we can analyze and how we can visualize to to really extract the science from from results. And really important, it's um, the work on the community um, engagement and training. Uh, usually, we put a lot of, of emphasis on, on machines, on iron, on how the models run on, on these complex uh, systems. And we tend to forget that uh, in the other side, there are there, that there is uh, people working. And these people need uh, training, needs to really understand what, what, uh, what they are doing. And also really important how we can outreach and how we can translate to society all what we are we are developing. 
So a little bit in, in detail, work package one, it's what we call the cutting edge, cutting edge resolution inner system models. And what we want to do here, um, this is really an inheritance from the AC Waste one where we uh, develop what we call um, demonstrators. This here, these four, four models is the Earth, the, the model from ECMWF IFS, the German icon model, and the Freight uh, Nemo model. So um, in the first easy ways, we demonstrate that it was possible to, to go to, to these really um, high resolution cases. And now on, 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 this, um, on, on this stage, what you want to, to do is to take this, these demonstrators and we know that they run, but we need to push uh, the resolution as technical as, as possible as, as feasible, but always um, reaching what we call one metric for us, what is really important, it's the simulated years per day. That means that at least in this resolution, we are able to produce one um, year of simulation per day running in, a, in a, an HPC. So, um, it's really, the, these resolutions are really, really, really huge, producing lots of data, so we need to, to work on, on different on, on on different aspects to be able to, to fulfill this this commitment. On work package two, uh, we want to to watch new technologies on, on the of the community how to bring on on our models. Um, for example, the DSLs, the domain specific languages, how we can um, tackle this idea of of separating science and computing. And um, then uh, we are working on, on containers and, and also really, really uh, a, a hot topic right now is how we can uh, use the artificial intelligence and machine learning in our, in our to improve our, our, our models. Work package three, HPC services. In, in this case, we, we are providing services to improve performance on, on, on climate codes. And here, what we are what we are doing is that we open we are opening uh, calls. The last one was closed, I think, three months ago. Um, the next one will be, I think, at the end of of year. So, if you have an earth system model and you have um, identified issues, or you or you want to 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 do other kind of problems, and you have a technology um, a bottleneck, so please uh, stay stay. Uh, Stay tuned, and we will open this this uh, this call, and, and experts will help you in 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 improving your model. Then, in this sense, and this is, is more to to attract the industry, uh, we are developing a, a climate bench, a weather and climate benchmark in collaboration with Escape uh, Two, where we develop an um, algorithm, a set of of algorithms in a benchmark to be able to test. A new architectures or new developments uh, from the industry in uh, in an easy way in yeah, for 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 our for our needs. Then, as I was saying, the 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 work on on data and and visualization and analysis, how we can tackle all all this. Uh, sorry, not you. Uh, how we can tackle all, all these all these issues and and in, and as the last work package, really important the community engagement and, and training. For this, we are doing workshops. We are we are setting a task force meeting each uh, each month together in in whole Europe, and then we are um, we have lots of trainings and and school. We have a summer school this this summer. We still don't know right now if we will be able to do it with. The COVID issues, but we already did, um, for example, a, a hackathon on on containers, and and some some other some other activities. Um, so, and and a second part of the presentation, I will explain what we what more specifically we've been doing at at BSC regarding in, in the easiest in the easy ways framework. So, to explain a little bit on our main our main uh, work. Uh, our main work is based on the Easy Earth Climate Model. The Easy Earth Climate Model is the unique um, communi community model in, in Europe. All the other models are, are models from, from institutions. In this case here, it's a consortium of more than 29 partners, uh, a 
between meteorological agencies, but also research centers like, like, like us. And in this case, we have, uh, we have a model with, uh, with the atmosphere by, by the IFS model. We have the ocean is, is simulated by NEMO. And uh, we have other components, that, uh, for example, the vegetation with L LPG, land, the H tessel, or, or the chemistry of the M5, and everything. It's, it's orchestrated by a, a, what we call a coupler oasis. You need to imagine like a, like a bartender that is distributing, for example, I'm receiving the, the sea surface temperature and I, I'm moving it. Oasis takes from, from Nemo and, and sends to, to IFS. And then the other way around, for example, the, the IFS, the Oasis will take the winds from IFS and will take to, to, to NEMO. You can imagine then that the computational um, performance and the problems that can have here are really, really strong. Models are performing really different, uh, each one of them. So we need to, to be able to run all of them at once in a single execution, the best, the best way, way possible. And something that was really, really interesting here, and, and what we saw in, in the first uh, in the first version of Easy Ways, it was that through Easy Ways we've been able to really strong this this community, uh, the Easy Earth community, to work together. So this really was one of the the best uh, um, major milestones uh, that that were in the first uh, edition, and that we are continuing right now. So we've been running. All, all the simulations in, in, for example, in Mare Nostrum 4. So in this case, uh, we are running this 10 kilometers demonstrator with this, this uh, T1279 or T12 name, really, really complicated, but this is our, what we call. And here in this case, we've been able to use, to run it using 5,000 MPI tasks, but, but we are still, if you see, uh, at 0 0.45 simulated years per day, our target is, is one, so we are far from, from our objectives. So that's why we are, we are working in, uh, to, to, to try to reach this, this, uh, this, this commitment. In this sense, and I, will, and I will show later, it's really important the work done with Bob, where we are collaborating with them in order to better understand what is happening in our models and which are the the, the bottlenecks. And for example, to have an order of magnitude, how, uh, how much does it cost a simulation like this one? So if you want to do a, a 100 year experiment, which is really a typical, it's not really a big, but we need, if you want to see the projection in, in the next, uh, in the next, uh, in the future. So only with one experiment, we are, we can, we can spend more than 40 million hours in a, in an HPC. So it's it's uh, you can see that it's a, it's a big big amount of of computing time we are also doing activities like the scalability we are analyzing our applications and here and um, we've been doing a very nice activity i would i would thank you operations because we've been we've been using we've been uh, running the the nemo the the, the ocean model up to 1022 122,000 cores. That means more than 70% of, of Mare Nostrum to see how it was it was performing in a simulation of more than of approximately three kilometers, which is really really huge. And in parallel of this grand challenge, uh, we are also investigating the use of the precision in 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 our models. From the beginning, we used to to the engineers and the co and the modelers used to work on double precision and then when when we realized that the the resources were scarce and and we need to to improve our models we started to make the question if we could move to sing to to single precision um the if you see the difference in the plot you can you it's you can really have an, an improve but, but there's a danger here that if we move everything to single precision, we can break our uh, our model, or at least the results can can be affected. So at BSC, we developed a, um, an automatic uh, methodology to uh, to to identify which variables of the models can be moved to to single precision, the ones that needs to to stay on double, uh, to get a, at the end as a mixed precision version, and where the results are almost the same as the the ones on 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 the double, getting the, the, a very nice speed up and a, 
an improvement of, on, the, on the performance. So part of the work, and, and here is the collaboration with Pop and the team from, and, and the tools team from BSC is done with, with Paraver, with the suite of Paraver, um, Extrae Paraver and Dimemas. Uh, it has been really, really a good collaboration. We've been able to trace big executions. Mm, for example, we've been the first to trace the first operational execution in, in ECMWF using, using this, these tools. To really understand what 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 is happening and how we can how we can uh, improve our our models, and to to finish, for example, one of the outputs. I don't know if you are you are used to to see these are traces what we what we get from an execution of the the orca the the the, the ocean model, and in this case, it's different three different executions with different numbers of of uh, of numbers of codes. And the, the x axis is, is time. And for example, you can see it's really extra, it's really useful for us because each color represents a function. So we can see how, how the, each function it represents, it's evolved on, on when, we, when we increase the, the, the numbers of cores. So we can do very nice analysis on this and, and, and really understand which are the, the, the bottlenecks of, of our application. And finally, let's see if it works. I have a video here, and it's really you. You will see what um, an an uh, uh, an idea of what we are doing. This is a simulation of of Orca done in 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 easy ways, and you can we, we are showing the impact of using different resolutions on on the results. So you can see that as uh, as we are incrementing, here is 25 kilometers. We we start to see more details. These are the currents of of the ocean, and if we move to 12, uh, you see that we already we we can see much more details and reproduce local and regional um, uh, situations that are really uh, really helpful for scientists to understand what is happening. But this is this is not for free. This comes with an, uh, a huge computational um, uh, increase of resources, so we need to be able to to do it uh, to do it uh, in the best way possible. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate your your attention, and please, if there are any questions, I'm here. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Kim, for your presentation. It's really interesting. It's very nice to see this visualization job here that uh, looks really very interesting from the from the vision point of view so if there is there, if there is any question for kim please use the chat function here to the, your right of the screen if not i'm just wanting to first uh, thank kim for the mentioning the the operational uh, the operation uh, contribution eh? uh, some people from operation is listening to this talk so Thanks, thanks for mentioning that. And the second question is also probably since you are the, the, the last one about earth sciences. Uh, how, how I, I, I was worried there was one question from Andres before. What about early warning? So uh, do we think that what is really the, the how, what do we really need to, to jump to a, a real function in early warning of such, uh, as you said, so Gloria, uh, Gloria um, uh, dangers and so on. So somehow we are linked to uh, knowing what will be happening in the future. And maybe the question, more specific question is, is do you think that the society is ready for this uh, forecast? I mean, will the society really be taking into consideration what the technology and the scientists tell about the future. If, as we see now in COVID, even now with the recommendations of staying home, not everybody stays at home. What do you think? Is there what is the, what is the the you know the, the missing gap here? Probably there is some point that is more weak than the others, and some getting the forecast to the society, I think will be a, a hard, a hard, very hard challenge. What do you think? Thank you. Yeah, so so I think that um, this this work uh, is already done by the the National Meteorological Services, which uh, uses these these models to provide information to to society. For example, 
or what you see in in the news in 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 the meteo meteo um, part of of news are results most of them taken from models and it's really nice that these last years um, we have been an increase of ex really explaining this kind of of, of information so not, right now it's quite usual to see in, in the news to talk about models to talk about uh, the outcomes and and where it comes from if, if the cnwf and or or any other institutions so in this sense yes i think we are already we are already we are already we are uh, there for for the for the early warning systems but so this is something that i should say that it's not our our duty it's more on the on the meteorological services not on the research services because it has a really impact on the society and politics yes i agree i agree i mean this is not of course i'm not making blaming the scientists of course not but but of course it's a huge challenge to get this uh, forecasting and this warning system to the society and it's like a chain that uh, the technology may be ready but if there is no politician society or, or media ready to to send that last mile communication to the public then maybe the the, the whole thing it's it's not is not so perfect thank you so much kim